season three episode something or other. Who knows? It's eight, nine, it's ten. The walk through life is often beautiful for most of us. Imagine, though, if you were without some of the most basic items like food, water, shelter, or warmth. The things most people take for granted, others can struggle to find. Reaching out to those in need can really help them find the beauty in life we all want. The road to help others is a choice. It is something you must think through, something you must work hard at, something you must enjoy. For over a year, Paul and Shelby LeMasters have been creating a cocktail show for all of us to enjoy. Though a serious topic, they have turned charitable giving into a whimsical and laid-back experience every single show. On a recent trip to Asheville, North Carolina, we caught up with Paul and his friends to help us understand the effort it takes to produce and create the cocktail show. This is the story of the Blue Monkey Quarantina Quarantine Cocktail Show. Now, to understand how the cocktail show began, you need to understand the history of how Paul and his family got started in charity work. Basically, 10 years ago, um, I decided that it was important for my kids to understand that there was more than receiving for Christmas. So we went out and we bought four coats. That was the coat drive. And we bought four brand new coats and we went down to St. Vincent de Paul and we donated them. And, um, and it worked because the following year, uh, my kid said to me, are we going to do the coats again? At which point, you know, I had two choices to say, no, <laughs> we, we only give on odd years or whatever year that worked out at, or um, you say, yeah, of course we are. And not only did we do it, but we kind of started this little thing that we didn't realize that, and we can do better. And better they did. Over the last 10 years, the Coat Drive organization has made enough money to purchase coats valued between four hundred dollars and $500,000. That is almost 7,500 brand new coats for those in need. And we just did a little bit better and we gave more coats and, and that was literally how it all started. Make no mistake in understanding how work like this is needed for our communities and the immediate positive impact this effort provides to others. The year 2020 started off like any other fundraising year. And then it happened. A new virus called COVID-19 began spreading all over the world. In order to slow the spread, everyone was being required to quarantine. The new restrictions gave Paul a great idea. And this year, you know, we always are thinking, all right, what do we do? What do we do? And, um, and then the quarantine hit. And then I will say this, at no point early on did it click that this would be the fundraiser. And I, I, I think, and this is going to sound, this will sound a little goofy, whatever word you want to use. But it happened. It just, it worked. Like, so when we started the quarantine cocktail show, so it was day one of the quarantine, you know, DeWine had said this evening at 9 p.m. all bars will shut down and that will be it. And of course, where were we when that happened? We're at a bar, a brewery. That sounds better. That sounds less alcoholic. Um, but we were at a brewery and um, and literally everybody almost remorsed and we cheered at the bar. It was like, this is it. This is our last drink in public. And that's when I told Shelby, when we get home, I'm going to make us a quarantini. It had already been out there. I, I, I'm not saying I invented the quarantini. It was out there. I'm saying I'm going to make us one when we get home. And that's when you know, our relationship, and this is how we work, 
but wait, you need to do this. And that's when Shelby said, let's put it on Facebook. I said, fine. I'd had a few beers. Um, apparently, we were pre-gaming and didn't even know it. And then so we come back and we did what ended up being the first quarantine cocktail show. And at that point, we made our little quarantini. And when we were done, we were like, that was ridiculous. That was silly. And then somebody, and I don't remember who it was, but chimed up and said, you're going to do it again tomorrow, right? Of course we are. And then that rolled night after night after night. And the quarantine cocktail show started. Are you ready? Folks, uh, we're ready. Let's just, let's just get rid of the purple elephant in the room tonight. So after one year and well over 100 shows, Paul and Shelby weekly still create the quarantine cocktail show in the Blue Monkey Quarantina for our entertainment. And that family that started donating coats together? Yep, they are still side by side trying to help others. People often ask Paul how he puts the show together. He often responds with eight minutes of preparation. Let's go to Asheville, North Carolina and see what he really means. Paul has perfected a process that he goes through the day of the show. The most important of the items being which drink to pick, which shirt to wear, and how much pregame to do. Yes, there is real work to do also when it comes to the research and the notes and putting together the graphics for the show. Today is no different. Let's follow the crew around Asheville as they work their way to showtime. First stop of the day, finding some clothing for the show. Score.
happening? Oh yeah, and that's happening. Wait, where are we? Where are, where are we? Where are we? Are you ready? <laughs> Dude, we have got this is amazing. We have more people watching the show in this room <laughs> than we do probably in the entire uh, Ethernet world of uh, Facebook and YouTube. But here we are, season three, episode eleven. Yeah. Show, show, folks. Here it is. It is one year later. What? Honest to goodness, one year ago we started yes. this crazy yes. drunken thing. I've gone through uh, two pig livers that I've had <laughs> transplanted. It, it's it's been something. Let me tell you what we're doing tonight. So we are going quarantine style highball, but we're going. Irish whiskey. Oh, did I? The recipe's up. Oh, is it up? Wait, hold on. Is it? Is it over? No, it's. There. There it yeah. is. See? You guys can't see it, but right here. I, I, I've got it. So, uh, yeah, two ounces of. Uh, pork in. Now, all we're doing is uh, topping these off. So, about two ounces of uh, a good whiskey, Irish, tonight. Jim, yours has got a flavor in it. So, as you have just watched, this show was born from the heart. It has been this family's desire to continue to do whatever they can, wherever they are, to not only have fun, but ultimately make a difference in the lives of others. A year ago when we started it, we, we did this to add a little bit of laughter and joy uh, as COVID hit and we wanted to have fun. And here we are we're with groups of people. And I will tell you, um, I, I believe we've delivered. We have delivered, but- We've had fun and I want people to continue to deliver and here's what I mean. it reminds me of a story. Please, go on your story. What's fun time? What's fun time? No, I, I I want everybody to just keep giving, right? You you've given to the co drive, but when you go out, give, have some fun, and buy around. Last night we went out and bought a round of drinks for somebody. Thank you all. Cheers, Thank you folks, all. love y'all. Shelby, chink. Oh boy, that was. Yeah, <laughs> almost bad. Folks, hey. we'll see you next Sunday. That is frowned upon. But if I give the alcohol to the adults so we support the children, that's the loophole. And that's where I live. <laughs>